Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the pressure switch in your washer, unplug the power cord. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws securing the rear control panel. Lift the panel up to remove. Next, detach the control housing. Disconnect the pressure switch wire connector. Pull the tabs back to release the switch. Next, remove the screws securing the rear panel. Detach the panel. Release the retaining clamp and pull the pressure switch tube off of the tub port and untwist the lower retaining wire. Reposition the control housing. Now lift up the lid and use a putty knife to help release the retaining clips, securing the main top. Lift up the main top and support it. Now cut the cloth tape to release the tube from the wire harness. Untwist the upper retaining wire. Pull the old pressure switch and tube free. You're now ready to install the new pressure switch. Insert the tube through the control base. Wrap it around the support rod and slide on the clamp. Attach the tube to the outer tub port and secure it with the clamp. Secure the tube to the tub with the lower retaining wire. Secure the tube to the main top and the main wire harness with the upper retaining wire. Use a zip tie to secure the switch tube to the wire harness. Remove the support. Lower the main top and snap it into place. Detach the control housing. Snap the new switch into place on the control base and connect the wire connector. Reposition the rear panel and replace the screws to secure. Reposition the control housing. Slide the rear control panel into place and secure it with the screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.